coming to you from deep inside the bowels of a great big empty. Get ready for another episode of The Home Defense Show with Skip Coriel. This is Phoenix Coriel. Welcome to the Home Defense Show. Okay, folks, this is Skip Coriel. Welcome back to the Home Defense Show. We are having a uh, great time here. I've had a good summer so far. I'm, I'm fishing, I'm gardening, I'm shooting, I'm teaching classes. I just finished writing two books. It's been a really, really uh, great time here at the, the Coriel Tribe. Uh, but today, I have got something uh, special for you. I have a good friend of mine on the phone with me, Rick Ector from Legally Armed in Detroit. Rick, welcome to the Home Defense Show. Hey, Skip, it is great to be back on the Home Defense Show, man. Things are good, and I trust things are okay and great with you as well. Yeah, they are. Um, things are going uh, really well. Now, um, but I wanted to talk to you on the air, Rick, because you've got something really, really special uh, coming up uh, over there in Detroit. But before we get into that, can you just, uh, for about a, a minute or two, just give us, uh, you know, uh, a summary of all things Rick Ector. Who, who the heck is Rick Ector? <laughs> Man, you're giving an extrovert a full <laughs> minute and a half to talk about himself. Well, you know, you, if yeah, you're take, talking take about you need, extreme <laughs> missions. Do your best. Uh, well, first and foremost, one thing that I think is pretty cool is that I count you as a friend. So I'm a friend of Skip Coriel and all of the things that make him unique. The one thing I must say that is eminently impressive about you is your publishing exploits, man. You said you've written 11 books. Well, I would hope to at least one day before I'm done to get one book completed. But uh, to your original question, let me say this. Firearms trainer, gun rights advocate, you know, based here in the city of Detroit. Uh, one of the things that I am most proud of professionally is an annual event that I do every year uh, free for women. Uh, I've been a firearms trainer probably uh, 15, 16, maybe even 17 years now. Uh, gun owner. Uh, father, grandfather, uh, do media appearances to uh, preach the virtues of uh, firearm safety. And of course, my latest passion has been empowering women, man. If you look at some of the statistics, some of the crimes against women are really off the chart. One of the things that a lot of people don't like to talk about is the number of sexual assaults that happen to women. And, uh, you know, they're really, from, from the local communities and, and their governments, they really don't have any practical advice. And if you go to some government sites, they tell you to act crazy and try to, you know, induce vomiting on yourself to uh, wow. scare the bad guy away. And uh, in light of some of those things, some of the things that they're offering or advising women to do, I have a different take on it. And it makes me rather controversial because I am so emboldened to tell women to learn more about firearms, to buy one, get a concealed pistol license and carry it everywhere you may legally do so. And I'll tell you, one of the great things that I like about the life that I live, the journey that I've been on is that I get to meet a lot of interesting fellow rabble rousers in the 2A community and please, count yourself as one of them <laughs> well thank you i've always wanted to be a rabble rouser um, <laughs> Rick, uh, um you know i, I we're uh, we're like-minded uh in, in a lot of ways and i certainly appreciate uh, you know all the things that you do to help familiarize and it, basically you introduce women uh, to the world of guns, you know, because a, a lot of women are, are afraid of guns um, because they simply they've, they've never been around them before or been told bad things about them. F first, tell me ab about your event. When is that? Where is that? How can people find out about that? 
you know, to the point you just made, man, the biggest secret in the gun world is that there's a sizable percentage of men that are afraid of guns too, but we're not talking about <laughs> them today on this show. We're talking about women because they are the prized preferred target of bad guys. They, if they are encumbered with children, makes them an even more uh, target. But uh, my gift to the community, my gift to women in the Metro Detroit area is this free shooting event. As you stated, it is the 11th annual event. We didn't take off for COVID, but you know what? We took an abundance of precautions. We did everything the experts said to do, and uh, we didn't have an outbreak. So I'm exceedingly proud of that. This year, the 11th time that we're doing this event is going to be held on the last weekend of this month, Saturday through Sunday. Uh, July 30th and the 31st uh, is completely free. If women pre-register starting from a week before, registration opens up on the 23rd. So, I mean, that's like a week away, 8 o'clock in the morning, and we'll give the URL out, but it'll be all over the place. But I'm going to send everyone over to uh, Facebook. My Facebook uh, profile for Rick's Firearm Academy Detroit is facebook.com forward slash Michigan CCW. CCW is all run together. There will be a URL to the event page. And uh, people who are interested in the program uh, will be able to learn a plethora. How about, how's that a word? Rick, or a, I'm astounded. I'm astounded and amazed. Plethora of plethora. information about the event. <laughs> it's completely free. We uh, have firearms instructors who will be with you one-on-one -on -one in a booth. We give you a range safety briefing to teach you fundamental firearm safety. You'll be provided with the firearm. Of course, we'll have ammunition. We'll have targets, uh, safety glasses, earplugs. I mean, literally, all you have to do is to come with a sense of adventure. <laughs> I like that. Come with a sense of adventure, and we will, you know, handle the rest. Rick, you've been doing this for 11 years. Uh, think back to your first year. Uh, how, how many women did you introduce to firearms that first year? That first year was uh, rather modest, man. You know, in my opinion, you know, we trained 50 women at that, uh, that mm -hmm. iteration, our maiden voyage. And uh, to be honest, man, I was hoping to train hundreds of women that first time because, man, I put out an incredible amount of effort to get the word out. And uh, 50 women came up that, that first iteration. And man, everyone was telling me, Rick, you all trained 50 women. That is incredible. And inside, <laughs> man, I was crushed, right? Because yeah. yeah. I had such lofty goals that I did not know enough about what I was doing to realize that 50 under any circumstances was amazing, you know? Yeah. Well, but, first uh, time too. I mean, yeah, first time out. I, this crazy guy from the city of Detroit talking <laughs> about meet him at a gun range and he'll pay for everything, right? Yeah. And you know what they say about things that sound too good to be true? They're too good to be true. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I think I think that worked against me. You know, I yeah, probably yeah. shouldn't have made it so attractive. You know, but, but you've made it work for you now. This is the eleventh year. How many did you have last year? Last year we we had a we, we got back to just over a thousand, you know, which you know, if you think about it, man, you trained a thousand women in firearms in a weekend. But see, I'm always looking back to better my best, right? Because the year mm -hmm. before we did 1938. Of course, everything was shut down when the you know the shutdowns were in full bloom and full effect. So I was looking to eclipse, you know, 1900, you know, but uh Man, look, you just keep going. And uh, the the realist in me, you know, even if, let's say, on my worst, on our worst day, we can train a thousand women in a weekend, that's still amazing oh, yeah. in, in of itself, yeah. you know. But uh, man, these, you know, these are brand new people. These are brand new people to, to the I world. know, man, it's brand like new people hours. to come to a gun range by themselves. This crazy, kooky guy yeah. out of Detroit saying, He's going to give you stuff for free. I mean, who does that, right? 
you know. Well, so. you know, I don't think the criminals out there are going to be very happy with you, Rick. Man, and that's okay, man, because <laughs> I don't really have a soft spot inside in my heart for criminals because, man, that's the reason why I bought a pistol. That's the reason why I got my CPL. That's ultimately why I became a gun instructor and I continued on down this path. Now I want to arm everyone with fundamental firearm safety and basic handgun skills. There's a record number of first time gun owners out there and people literally have these brand new guns they bought probably still in the original box, never been loaded, never took them out to the gun range. And they're just looking at it and admiring it every day. Well, here, I'm going to give you some practical advice. I'm going to tell you to come to my free women's shooting event, especially if you're a first time gun owner who hasn't yet taken that initial voyage and foray out to the gun range. I'm going to show you how to safely handle it and teach you how to be safe with it. So, man, I mean, I look at it as win, win. Rick, you know, I, I totally agree with everything that you've said, and I, I love what you're doing. Uh, I've always admired uh, Man. you for what you're doing, because you, you're doing the Lord's work here. July 30th to the 31st, two gun ranges, recoil firearms and top gun shooting sports. The only thing is, is that the week before, we're going to open registration, because I want to discourage no-shows, because they occupy too much space. But go to my Facebook page, my Rick's Firearm Academy Detroit page, which is at facebook.com forward slash Michigan CCW, both words strong. Get this, concatenated together. I always, oh, no. Look, no. I, always, <laughs> I always look for an opportunity to use that word. Rick, you are not just another pretty face. <laughs> man make up your mind first time you told me you had, I had a face for radio and now you're telling me i'm not just a pretty face man well i i want to keep you on your toes but con concatenated uh that that's, that's a pretty good one well the important thing is that you're doing something great here for for women and you're making them safer in the process so that they need to go to facebook.com forward slash michigan ccw and to go ahead and and read about it and sign up for it right yeah, go out to that page and read up for it. I'm going to open a registration a week from this weekend. That's actually a week from tomorrow, which will be like the 23rd, the 24th. There's right. going to be a plethora, a myriad of signing <laughs> slots. Plethora, sign myriad, up. concatenated. Oh, man. You man, are look, just... I, I'm throwing... You know what? I might be, people might think I'm studying for one of those uh, certification examinations. You, 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 know? you need to write that book, Rick. I mean, you've got all the words. Let me tell you, that. you just got to put them in the right order. You and my conscience are on my mind. Because let me tell you, I've got <laughs> at least, I have at least a couple of books in me, man. We're out of time. We're going to have to wrap this up just one more time. They're going to go to facebook.com forward slash Michigan CCW, uh, and they can go ahead and, and register online there. And if this event is on July 30 and 31st. I highly recommend it. All right, Rick. Thank you very, very much uh, for being on the Home Defense Show today. We appreciate it. Man, thank you for having me. I appreciate you and be safe out there. Carry your gun. Absolutely. All right, one more time. That's facebook.com slash forward slash Michigan CCW. Go ahead and sign up for that July 30 and 31st. Uh, and don't forget our sponsors. Uh, check out United States Concealed Carry Association, uscca.com. Get some good legal protection there and some good training. And then check out Centershot Indoor Gun Range, centershotgunrange.com, where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. This is Skip Coriel and Home Defense Show. We will see you next week with another great podcast. In the meantime, God bless and stay safe. Thank you for joining us this week on The Home Defense Show. Now, get out there and protect the ones you love. We'll see you next week with more of the best in home defense. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs>